And Deacon, pleased to meet you. Um, so we're here at the Brazilian Embassy now for uh, somewhere to go premiere. Yeah. Uh, I understand you went over to Rio to record with yeah. the, to record the film with the finalist. Yeah, went down to Rio. Uh, my job was to write and direct this kind of short, short five minute film with music and a bit of acting in it. And yeah, it was amazing. We went down to Rio, three days filming. Um, really great experience, yeah. What, what does, the, does the charity, does the, does the campaign really sort of sum up? How could you sum it up for us? Um, I think it's a great charity. What they do is they, they find spaces for young people. So if, you know, if you're a drummer, they're going to find a rehearsal, a rehearsal space for you. If you're a singer, you know, they'll, they'll match you up with a, a space that's not being used. Um, and this was a kind of competition they asked me to be part of where talent show basically so up and down the country young people would, would enter I would then pick a winner and then yeah they come back to Brazil and we'd, we'd shoot this film together but um, really it's about helping young people really it is, it's as simple as that um, giving them that push you know yeah, yeah. I, I was quite lucky with my career that a lot of people helped me and and so yeah I'm a strong believer in that um, kind of giving back and I think what they're, what they're doing is it's amazing, yeah. Yeah, it must have been hard work filming out in Rio. Lovely beach in the sun. <laughs> it was actually quite stressful, though. It was like, like literally, obviously the sun, everything was lovely about Rio, but you're there and you've got three days to film this kind of piece with, with your name on it. And so it did become quite stressful, but but because of because of the fact you're in Rio and it's such a laid back place and everyone's smiling, and it was just amazing. Like it really was, yeah. Which of the films are sort of any other films that stood out for you apart from the winner? Sorry? Any other films that stood out for you apart from the, the winning um, entry? Do you know, it was really hard to pick a winner, you know. Um, so many talented youngsters. Uh, great, great music artists. Um, we had a cyclist that entered. Uh, it was really hard to choose, but um, I think with Trilogy, like with the whole dancing routine and, and all that, I think there was a lot we could have done in, in, in Rio with that. And they kind of just stood out on the day and and they've done a great performance and, and yeah, they're great kids. You reckon they've got a good career in front of them? I think, you know, if they work hard, stay focused, I think, you know, sky's the limit, yeah. And, uh, you know, seven, well, tonight they're going to announce a £7 million injection from the big lottery fund, YouTube official partner, so the campaign's going to go from strength to strength as well. Yeah, I think I'm really proud of somebody too. I think, you know, they're, they're working hard. Um, and it's great, you know, young people need push, they need uh, things like somewhere too, just to give them that start. Um, and inspire young people and I think you know talking to the young people here they are inspired by what somewhere to are about and, and it's a great help for these young people great stuff but basically on a, on a more personal level as well sort of like what's happening with uh, Adam Deacon actor, rapper, director I'm just trying to keep busy right now you know um, I just want to direct more um, we're writing a few projects at the moment but I'm going to go in production early next year anything we can any sort of name? I'll be told to just be quiet at the Come moment on. but I'm one of the people I just like to let the work talk, so hopefully we'll, we'll be back in a year and I'll tell you if we've been doing Is this, um, you know, well, since playback season, another fair, what's the main acting role that we're talking or more directing? Do you know what it is? I, I spent a year kind of, you know, acting in other people's work and I really just want to create my own work again. I, I want to, you know, direct, even with this, you know, it's a short film uh, that we've done with somebody too, but it just gives you that, that buzz just to get back and, and make movies and stuff. And, so yeah, I'm just kind of inspired just to, to do my own work at the moment you know, and make all these ideas in my head pan into something. And it's a great thing with filmmaking. I just feel privileged that I, I get to put these ideas out there. Yeah, and uh, BAFTA Rising Star Award for another who? Yeah. That, you know, proudest moment to date? A very proud moment. Um, still, you know, I can't believe that, it, you know, the whole BAFTA thing was a people's vote and people voted for that. And just to know that there's so much support out there, um, you know, acting can be so up and down. And sometimes you, you think, you know, why am I doing this? And, you, know, you don't work for a few weeks or you don't work for a month. And, like, you get so stressed out. And just to know that the people have got your back, it means a lot. Yeah. You know, seeing your, seeing your name out in lights, you're still, still looking forward to that t-shirt. I've got that Frutella t-shirt, had, had your face on it, still yeah, wearing it I've got a little my size t-shirts it. out there. Um, <laughs> you know, I enjoy doing this. And it, you know, I always thought, it would just be acting that I'd be doing at this age, you know, just acting other people's work. But to know that there's a possibility of just putting more of your own work out there and, and the people want to see it and they're supporting it, it means a lot. And I'm really taken back by the support that 
people have given me up there, yeah. Stuff and um, yeah, you recently hosted the Mobile Wars with Matt and Peter Oliver. Is that a good night there? The Mobiles, yeah, it was, uh, it was different, you know. Um, changed up the script a little bit with the Mobiles. And, uh, but Makita's lovely, like, she's a lovely girl and I had a really good night. Yeah. It's what, a great uh, night, I'm a massive music fan. Yeah, you know, what are you I'm listening not, to? Uh, I'm just listening to UK at the moment, man. I'm like, I'm so proud of where the UK scene are taking it, you know. Um, there's so many artists, and I'm just so proud to see them actually yeah, well, gain sure, commercial. You have to name a couple of artists. Um, do you know, I'm, I'm proud to see Wiley do his thing, you know. You know, I've been listening to Wiley for years, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and for him to reach that commercial place, yeah, it's, finally... it's amazing to see that. Um, yeah, I'm just, you know, Emily Sunday, uh, all these artists, they're just, they're, they're making me proud right now. What's the, the last gig you went to? The last gig that I went to? Ooh. I think it was, it was B Festival. Oh, it was yeah. B Festival. That was and it, I right? think the last performance I saw was Professor Green. Ah, yeah. nice one. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it was good, that was it. And uh, what about on um, actors wise, any any writing stars that you think we should have our eyes out for? I think Jason Mazza. Oh, yeah? He's in the, he's in trio, he's in our little short film. I think he's a he's a great actor, he's been working on the scene for a long time and he's just getting better and better. Um, another actor I'm really uh, you know, I sing his praises all day long, Richie Campbell. Um, he played um Tyrone in another one and I think he's just an amazing actor. When people see him play Tyrone, they automatically think that he is that guy who's got a lisp and he walks around like this and all that. And actually he's not. You know, in the circle, we call him the actor's actor because he, he takes what he does so serious and, you know, he, he, he beefed himself up to play the part of Tyrone. And I think that's a massive talent there. Um, yeah, there's so much. You know, Richie Campbell, Jason Mazza, um, Leo Gregory, all these people, they've been putting in work for so long. I think it's their, their years coming up, yeah. Great stuff. And lastly, thanks a lot for your time. What's the uh, best film of the year for you? Best film? Um, I think it all matters. Plan B, it all matters, yeah. Superb. Last one, thanks a lot for your Cheers, time. Man. Cheers. Thank you. Nice to meet you.